Hello everyone, how are you all surviving the lockdown? I hope you're enjoying the weather and are at home staying safe. So this afternoon I thought I would make some scrub bags, which I've been meaning to do for the last couple of weeks. I have this leftover cotton fabric, which is similar to kind of duvet cover sheeting. It's just got to be um, cotton fabric that can be washed at 60 degrees. So I'm gonna show you how to make these today. As you can see, there you go. It's very similar to a pillowcase actually. So they're really relatively quite simple to make. You just need two rectangles of fabric and you need to cut these rectangles to 21 inches wide by 26 inches length. Here you go, there's one and I've got two of these and that's also 53 centimetres wide by 66 centimetres long. So I'm going to start off by overlocking both of these side lengths here. So just the sides for now. If you don't have an overlocker, you can use a zigzag stitch on your machine. It's just an overlocker makes things a lot easier to do and a bit quicker as well. So I'll move the camera and you can have a look. Right, so just along the side. And I'm gonna repeat that on all the sides. Okay, so as you can see, I've overlocked both of the side lengths, that's the longer lengths. Now what I need to do is I need to fold over one, on one side, I need to fold over by one and a half centimetres, which you can see I've already done on this one. So you just fold it over one and a half centimetres like so, and then just repeat that on the other side. Okay, when you've done that, what you need to do is you need to lay one piece, so on the side that's not folded, if you match up the sides where you've overlocked, so these are the two sides that have been overlocked and then these are the two sides that have been folded I've left. The sides that have been, just the raw sides here that have been overlocked here, if you just run that along the sewing machine, take it over to a sewing machine and using a centimetre and a half stitch length, just run a stitch all the way along there. I'm going to take this over to the machine and I'll come back in a minute. Okay, so I've run that along the machine, look, one and a half centimetre stitch running all the way across and I've secured both the ends of securing stitches. Now I'm going to open these up and then I'm just going to push that seam over to one side, like so. Let me just trim off this thread. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fold this over. I'm going to double fold this on two centimetres. So fold this over two centimetres. Like so. If you've got thicker cord, you could actually do two and a half centimetres if you wanted to. It just depends on what cord you're going to be using to feed around the top of these bags. So I'm just measuring two centimetres. Fold that over. Like so. And then repeat again, fold over again two centimetres. Making sure that on this end over here you have it tucked in. Sorry, my husband decided to come in at that opportune moment. Next time I'll have to put a sign in the garage that I'm actually doing a video. Anyway, right, so like I said, I folded that over. I'm just gonna pen this down. I'm just gonna give this a quick press with the iron. All the way across. And I'm just gonna fold those like that down as well okay so 
So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch all the way along here, right on that edge of where that fold is. So just here on the edge of the fold. Right, okay, I've just popped that on the machine. Can you see there? Oh, I've stitched all the way along the top. This is that pocket there, like so. Now I'm just going to trim off all the loose threads. Make sure it's nice and neat. Okay, and now I'm going to fold this right side to right side. So, and now I'm going to take this over to the machine and starting on this corner here I'm going to machine stitch one and a half centimeters all the way around to here along that bottom edge and then where you've got those folds there I'm going to stitch along the edge where the actual overlock stitch is so that's going to be about a centimeter in all the way up to the top now when you get to the top you need to stop where those pockets are and I always do a really good couple of securing stitches there. So to make that clear you're going to do a one and a half centimetre stitch allowance all the way along here on the bottom. When you get to this edge here and then I'm going to stitch all the way up here along the stitch of where the overlocker is all the way up all the way up all the way up until you get to the pockets here and then I'm going to do a few securing stitches over sewing stitches here to make it nice and tight. So I'll go and do that and then come back and show you. Okay, there you go. I've stitched all the way around. And then when I get up to this top bit, I've just over sewn it there quite a few times. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run the overlocker along the bottom and along the side of these raw edges just to make sure it's all nice and neat and tidy and secure and it's not gonna come apart. So quickly run that through. Need to do that side up there but I just went over it again just to make sure it's extra secure so I'm just going to take these neaten this up and now what I need to do is um, turn this through the right way okay right so now the next thing I need to do is push out these corners now I've got look, what you can use for the tops I've got this old blind cord that I used to use um, for making up Roman blinds when they all put on battens and I've got loads of it so what I've just done is I've just got three pieces and I've just plaited them um, to make them thick enough to put through the other thing you can use is you can obviously use um, cord if you've got any cord or it, I've got piping cord here as you can see which I'm going to use as well once it, the other stuff is run out so I'm just going to have I've knotted off one end tied that on there and then I'm just going to I'm actually just going to singe the ends because it's kind of plastic based so it just means it won't fray and then measure out how much you need so I'm probably going to need about that by that, not the end on this one. And then I'm going to put another knot in just so that it doesn't come apart on the other one. As you can see, I've done a double knot there and then I can cut in the middle. And then again, I'm just going to trim that and then I'm just going to burn it with the end of a light just to melt it because it's plastic. Don't do it if it's cotton because it might catch fire. But as you can see, it's kind of bonded those ends together. Okay, so now what I've got is I'm going to thread this through. So I've got this really neat little tool, which is a, 
cool it's a Fred Turner so I'm just gonna put it all the way through like so Probably would have helped if I'd done it the other way around actually. And I'm just gonna push it through. Okay, so I've popped, started it on one end and I'm just going to use that little hooky thing to hook it out. What I have realised is actually I normally do this before, I normally feed this through before I actually um, sew it together. Anyway, it's fine, I've done it now so you can see there, pulled it through. Okay, and there we go. So that's one, you can see there, one scrub bag. I really hope this tutorial has been helpful and will inspire you to have a go yourself. Like I said, if you haven't got any fabric at home, have a look in the airing cupboard. I'm sure you've got some old pillowcases or duvets that you could make these in. And you know, we're doing the best we can we're helping out the nhs they do so much for us so i think you know every little bit helps please have a go please share please share this video so that it may inspire others to have a go too um yeah stay home stay safe and i look forward to seeing you again soon take care